So specifically around this conversation we're having around abortion rights and access to reproductive health care, Tim Michaels, who is supported by Donald Trump in the primary, who really kind of came through on this wave of Republican base um, support for his very, very radical, very extreme right wing positions. He said that he doesn't support exceptions to abortion bans for rape or incest and has also said that um, whenever possible, um, we should always come down on the side of life, not understanding that a pregnant person's life is also in consideration during this, but Republicans never do. Um, Paige, is this kind of consistent with what people in Wisconsin want? I would say no, but you're the expert. I would say definitely no. This is very out of step with what the majority of Wisconsinites want. If Michaels wins this election, Republicans in Wisconsin will have very little in their way to prevent them from passing really extreme abortion bans. You're right, Paige, because Republicans hold so much power in Wisconsin. I mean, the state is just so gerrymandered that Democrats are so outnumbered in the Senate or in the state assembly and Senate. They can't stop Michaels if they tried. Governors are going to be a lot of Americans' last line of defense um, when it comes to protecting and even potentially expanding on abortion rights that have been a fundamental part of our American society. Um, Republicans have shown time and time again that they're out of step with the majority of Americans. Polling shows that um, they, instead of listening to their polling, listening to, I'm sure, their consultants, listening to anyone who would talk to them, they have decided to um, introduce a national abortion ban, and that's going to have enormous ramifications for them come November. 